It's been a terrible year for millions of people on the planet. Mother Nature has been hitting us left and right with floods and wildfires. But now, the Moon could have a big surprise for us soon. The Moon does a whole lot more than look pretty in the night sky. Earth's satellite is responsible for controlling many things on our planet. But now NASA says the world could be in serious trouble and the Moon might cause worldwide devastation. How will it happen? When will this occur? And what disasters have we seen so far? The Earth's Moon is a bit more than one-fourth the size of the Earth. That's much larger than any other planet-to-Moon ratio. The Earth's gravity is strong and keeps us and everything on it from floating off into space. But the Moon also has a gravitational pull, although it's much weaker and we don't really notice it. But if you want to see what effect the Moon has on the Earth, then look no further than the liquid water of the oceans and seas. All large bodies of water on the planet are pulled towards the Moon's gravity, and this causes high tides or low tides. When the Moon is over the ocean, water is pulled toward it, creating a tidal bulge. When the Moon is full, high tides are significantly higher, and low tides are lower than normal. Now, this is all just regular and normal stuff that the Moon's been doing for ages. But the Moon does something else every 18.6 years, and we've known about it since it was first discovered in 1728. It starts a cycle of wobbling. Now, this Moon wobble is nothing but a regular swaying in the Moon's orbit. One half of the Moon's wobble cycle causes tides to be lower on Earth, but the second part of this phase, which the Moon is currently headed in, causes higher tides than normal. So if this is a natural thing, what's the problem? The big issue is that climate change is causing the oceans to rise. And combined with the Moon's wobble, NASA is now issuing a dire warning that by the year 2030, the Earth could start to see massive flooding in coastal cities all around the globe. And we've already seen devastating floods in 2021 that are unbelievable. And we'll get to those in a moment. Currently, the Moon wobble will temporarily suppress flooding from rising sea levels. But as the Moon sways back in the mid-2030s, we could see some of the worst flooding in coastal cities across the planet. And this would last 10 long years. In 2014, the global sea level was almost 3 inches above the 1993 average. And if you asked any climate scientist at that time how fast the levels of the oceans are rising, many would say one-eighth of an inch per year. But things have been accelerating, and big time. Faster melting of Greenland's ice has pushed the rate to 4.8 millimeters per year, according to an ocean scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and head of the agency's sea level change. But there's a lot more happening than sea levels rising. The tides do more than make huge waves in the ocean and on beaches. They also impact the movement of currents, and that directly impacts the weather by the amount of warming or cooling water moving through a specific area. Weather events like El Nino, a climate cycle in the Pacific Ocean, starts when warm water in the western tropical Pacific shifts eastward along the equator towards South America's coast. Water temperature combined with strong winds and direction create weather events like El Nino. The Moon's tidal forces also affect the amount of rainfall on Earth. Scientists discovered that when the Moon is high in the sky, it also creates bulges in the planet's atmosphere, and that leads to changes in the amount of rain that falls below. These atmospheric bulges create pressure on the side of the planet the Moon is directly above. But here's something surprising that you didn't know. The Moon also affects polar temperatures. Satellite measurements of the atmosphere over the poles show a rise in temperature of 0.56 degrees Celsius when the Moon is full. Although they're slight, these temperatures can affect weather all around the world. Now, consider that in the USA, almost 40% of the population lives in high population density coastal areas. And globally, eight of the world's 10 largest cities are near a coast. According to NASA, these coastal cities need to take action now and brace for coming floods. Climate scientists are already stunned by the massive amount of flooding around the planet in 2021, especially Europe. 
And from the looks of things, we're not prepared at all. Several European countries have been hit by floods in 2021. In March, extreme rainfall on the east coast of Australia led to widespread flooding in New South Wales and affected regions from the north coast to Sydney, which experienced the worst flooding in 60 years. Many parts of the coast were declared a natural disaster zone, and over 18,000 people were forced to evacuate. The flooding caused over $1 billion of damage. But this was just one place on Earth that saw unbelievable flooding thanks to climate change. Regions in Central Europe have seen the worst flooding in decades and has left the region in complete shock. Entire corridors of destruction have been carved through the landscape of Western Germany and Eastern Belgium. The flash floods came unexpectedly, and on July the 14th, 2021, a whopping 153.5 milliliters of rain fell near Cologne, twice the amount the average rainfall for the entire month of July. And eastern Belgium, an unbelievable 271.5 milliliters of rain fell in just 48 hours, making a national record for two-day rainfall. In the Belgium town of Dinant, waters were so fast and heavy that cars were picked up and washed down roads. More than 200 people lost their lives, with just as many missing. This was Europe's 10th deadliest flood in the past 100 years. And here's an interesting thing. These floods were predicted nine days prior, with almost pinpoint accuracy. But residents were not evacuated or warned. But this isn't the only place to be hit by heavy floods. China's been devastated by severe flooding from heavier rains than normal. In fact, this was China's heaviest rainfall in 1,000 years. Horrifying visuals of cars overturned and floating down roads, and people trapped in subways waiting for rescuers showed us a grim picture of what climate change is doing to our planet. 20 centimeters of rain fell in the city of Zhengzhou in central China's Henan province. But that's not all. Heavy rains and mudslides recently hit Turkey, forcing thousands of people to leave their homes. Devastating scenes online showed stranded villagers being picked up off rooftops by helicopter, bridges collapsing under the force of rushing water, and cars floating down streets as residents were being rescued. Turkey has seen soaring temperatures of over 50 degrees Celsius. Now, here's the interesting thing. Even if the world follows a low greenhouse gas emission plan, Global sea levels will still rise by at least 30 centimeters above 2000 levels by the year 2100. Although there is some uncertainty about the full volume of glaciers and ice caps on Earth, if we keep going in the same direction without some serious changes, and if all the land ice was to melt, the global sea levels would rise approximately 70 meters and would flood every coastal city on the planet and many more cities inland. To give you an idea of how catastrophic that would be, that much water would touch the left elbow on the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. However, scientists say the Antarctic ice cap, where most of the ice on the planet exists, has survived much warmer times. The Earth is almost as warm now as it was 125,000 years ago, and sea levels were 4 to 6 meters higher. But global warming and the changing climate doesn't only cause water disasters from melting ice. The United States and Canada have been hit by severe heat waves that have resulted in heavy loss of life. For example, in the village of Lytton in Canada's British Columbia, temperatures soared to a high of 49.6 Celsius, and to make matters worse, that city was later destroyed by a wildfire. And in Portland, Oregon, USA, temperatures were as high as 46 degrees Celsius. Satellites are now tracking record-breaking and devastating wildfires all over the planet. Wildfires in Turkey are the worst in over a decade, and Russian fires in Siberia are worrying scientists the most. These devastating fires have emitted a record 505 megatons of carbon dioxide. And fires in the USA, especially the Dixie Fire in California, are burning out of control. What we're seeing now is unprecedented. Rocketing temperatures will create flooding, heat waves, wildfires, and global drought that will have a severe impact on millions of people. But the Earth has been heating and cooling for billions of years since its beginning. Humans will have to deal with Mother Nature and prepare themselves. So the next time it feels a little more humid than normal, or you hear about El Nino in the news, look up at the sky and think about the moon. Thanks for watching.